Nobody likes to give a refund, but if it's necessary, it should at least be easy to generate. In this tutorial, we'll show you how Sage Backpack ERP facilitates customer refunds. Before we start, it's important to note that this feature is not for processing returns. It's for refunds against customer credit notes, receipts, prepayments, and unapplied cash. Let's take a look at an example. Ronald Black, one of our customers, has several credits on his account from previous returns and he would like a refund. To do this, we'll open Accounts Receivable and select AR Transactions, then the Refund Entry icon. We'll click the New Batch icon and enter 1200 for Mr. Ronald Black. Note that we could also use the Finder to locate this customer. You have the option to issue the refund as cash, check, or to the customer's credit card. In this case, we'll issue a check, so we'll click on the Check Payment button and select the applicable bank since we have multiple bank accounts. If you're writing a manual check, leave the print check box unchecked and enter your manual check number. Otherwise, check the box and close the screen. Now we'll select a document and choose a prepayment, and then we'll tab over and enter the refund amount. We'll enter $50. We'll finish by clicking the Add button, and now let's go back to the entry to print the refund check. Clicking the Print Check button opens the check printing screen, and with one more click, the check is ready for printing. So to recap, the refund entry function in Sage Pack streamlines the refund process to make your accounting department more efficient. Give us a call if you need assistance with any feature in your Sage Pack system. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Bye for now.